Hi Aquarius, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, I hope you like and subscribe. I also hope you share it with a friend. I, when I'm filming this, are, am at 494 subscribers. I am on the cusp of 500, which is then halfway towards the biggest goal of them all, a thousand to start using um, my YouTube as a different platform for source of income. So with your help, Aquarius, by sharing it with a friend, telling someone, if you're cross-watching, sharing it with the person you're cross-watching for. Um, I greatly appreciate it, Aquarius. Um, I've also been pretty active on TikTok, so you should check that out if you have, if you have your own TikTok. This will be the summer Megan discovered and really got into TikTok because I feel like it was like one of those technologies that I was a little too like intimidated by, but then I warmed up to it. So <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a weirdo. Um, Aquarius, I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. If this resonates, make sure you like it and leave a comment. Uh, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Aquarius placements. Um, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Just check out the other signs in your chart. Whether or not it resonates, if you check out the other videos for your signs, you could be finding a message there that could resonate for you more Aquarius, more than even this one. And um, by doing so, by watching, you're just helping my little YouTube baby grow. And I'm very, very appreciative for your time and support. Um, Thank you for your gifts and donations at my Cash App and Venmo. Um, I look forward to seeing where Told Us Love will go. <laughs> so, Aquarius, I have some messages for you. And again, if it resonates, please let me know. All right. I heard the world is watching because as I was shuffling and you get this, these cards got a deep, deep, deep shuffle right before this reading Aquarius. So, um, I feel like their energy is like on a different cleaner vibe. If you know what I mean, I, maybe you feel like you're on a different cleaner vibe than others, but I saw the world's card and I thought the world is watching or like this is what the world is sees of Aquarius. So maybe you are in a position of being seen in the world. Like I'm an Aquarius rising. So I started thinking about this channel and TikTok and being seen by different people throughout the world that I would never have had any contact with before this. I'm also thinking of Trap Witch on Instagram who's an Aquarius, who um, I've, she's just grown and grown and grown and grown. And she's like, she now attends like seminars and like, she's known for, um, she's watched or is known by many. I mean, there could be someone watching right now who's like, yeah, I know who Trap Witch is. And I've been following her for a few years. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you intimidate people and people avoid you because of your light and power. I don't think this is even like you're a negative dominant, you could be dominant, but it's like a not because you're negative in any way. It's not because they're scared of you, like that you're scary. It's that it's something within them that doesn't want to be around someone like that who they deem is so bright and so pure and so living in their truth and it intimidates these people who aren't living so um honestly i think there's something here too of there's an aquarius who has a lot this is going to be specific but it, i started thinking about my i really do think this fits there's um a lot of sexual based attention that was part of your identity or you feel it's part of your identity. 
I started thinking about this TikTok, um, TikToker, like, he, his username is Best Looking Plumber, and he's taken, um, his good looks, and his, um, I feel like he gets sexual based attention and he owns it and what he does is he has used that platform to bring awareness to um legal issues with uh custody of his children and i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie I was like, oh, who is this? <laughs> Coming up in my TikTok and my suggested for me. Thank you, TikTok. You're right, suggested for me. <laughs> and I start looking. I'm like, <laughs> handsome guy. I'm going to go check him out. Mm, I love a blue collar guy. Mm. And I, I realize I'm following him telling the story of shit that went on with custody of ki his kids. And he's got all these parts of it, and he puts people on blast. And I've, I give it a lot of credit, because I'm like, I feel like this is like a lawsuit or some shit waiting to happen. But it's he's telling the story of what's gone on with his kids. And I've already told you his name. You can go see. But um, <clears throat> I put someone who has lots of sexual-based attention... The funny thing is, I thought that first, and then I thought of him. So I don't even know if he's an Aquarius. If he is, that would be really crazy to me. But someone who's taken their um, sexual-based attention and is using it to bring awareness to something else. So his, his is like the... Um, basically the department of children and families i don't know what it is where you are but around here it would be like dcf or um just like a state agency and cust custody and shit like he's bringing awareness to that system and what he went he dealt with i started thinking of guy fieri who is a an aquarius and he does a lot he brings a lot of attention to um special needs and people um, in need. And he did a whole like restaurant rescue and help and raised money during quarantine. Um, <clears throat> he's like took his everything and used that to help bring awareness towards something else. There's an Aquarius that I am connected with because I had that message. I also have something about someone's weight or they're looking at their weight. You could have gained 15 pounds or lost 15 pounds, but specifically 15 pounds was in my head. Um, all right, Aquarius. Let's move my decks of cards. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. I've already said that, but I'll say it again. Um, <clears throat> make sure to give it a like and a comment and share it with a friend and tell a friend to subscribe if it resonates thank you so much Aquarius I never say love and light I, ne I never say that but I was just about to say that like good luck Aquarius love and light I don't, I don't know where that came from. Maybe someone was actually saying that to me. And I'm like mirroring it back because I don't say that. If you were thinking it, let me know. Sex appeal. This just came out in my reading yesterday, one of them. Yeah, and I put it on the cover. Might be Aries. So if you're dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your 
or if you have Aries in your chart, and what's funny is while I was doing that reading, I was thinking about an Aquarius that I know, and that card is here, so that's really weird to me. Being used. Hey, no. <laughs> Maybe someone likes to drive fast, <laughs> like pedal to the metal I was hearing. Beautiful. I'm getting fire sign vibes from these colors. Tinder. You can't lie to me. Great hair. You know what? I was going to say that's giving me Scorpio vibes. And great hair, I'm pretty sure, came out in my um, Scorpio little message on TikTok the other day. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio Aquarius, you should check that out. He, she, they, meaning the streets, can have you. I'm all set. I feel like I am in con like connected right now with an Aquarius who is on fire in the sense of knowing their worth and what they will and will not put up with. I feel like um, I'm in touch with an Aquarius who um, wow, a lot of speed racers today. Maybe things are happening fast around you. Something's happening fast around you. Um, all right, go back to what the hell you were saying, Megan. There's an Aquarius here who knows their worth so much so that they can like see something or identify mistreatment like before it's even happened. It's like they can dissect a conversation and see the manipulation. They can, um, <clears throat> or they don't even allow it to get that far. The first hint of something that they don't like in a person that feels like it wouldn't be, is a repeat of some of other people. Like this is an Aquarius who's learned things. Okay. This is an Aquarius who's like, identified patterns of behaviors and people so once they get the first sign of that same pattern in someone they identify it and they just let it go i feel like this is an aquarius who gets again watched by many even more it could just even be like maybe you walk out of the house and you're just a very attractive alluring bright person and the world seems to notice and watch you, Aquarius. Someone it like knows what they bring to the table they know who they are. Very strong, uh, dominant energy. So they do not put up with, I'm hearing indecision or any anything combative. This is making me think of, um, I've done, I've mentioned the words happily ever after in quite a few readings now. And I feel like, um, there was a Gemini one where it specifically was like, I'm waiting for, or looking for, happily ever after. So if you are on the fence with that, or like, if things aren't, if like, I don't get the hint or whiff that we're on the same page, this is what's being let go. Aquarius is very much okay with that. This is a confident 
the, again, I just want to say, like, an Aquarius who can I identify the things. Maybe it's, I want, you're, you can identify when you would normally have been triggered. Three of Cups, Five of Swords, King of Swords, Reverse. Someone could have green eyes. Just saw green eyes there. Someone is is like happily happy with their animal or like um, if you have an animal or if it's just like you're ha very happy with your small knit little family. Could be a modern family. It could be like you and your um, your daughter and her son, uh, her husband had to move in for whatever reason or you asked them to move in and you are like happy to see everybody there all under one same roof. Um, This is um, just giving me like Aries energy. Like I will not be competitive with anybody else. I will not be made to feel like I'm competing with anybody else. Um, I'll just let it go. The, the first whiff of like me being played, I'll just let it go. Wow, 10 and 10 at the end, at the beginning and the end. Page of Wands, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Judgment. Okay. I feel like if this is, um, whether you're like in the relationship with someone or not um or yeah or you're very single i feel like there's an aquarius here who has like a vision of what their future i'm sorry the wind is making the window move and it's like bugging me out there's someone here who has a vision of their future happiness their stability their ten of pentacles that's um, them and their person or like watching their kids or whatever this is this person fantasizes about this and like saves up their pennies and like um, for this vision of the future that they have this dream of what it's going to be like someone really actually could be like pinching pennies like um Sa doing lots of saving maneuvers, tricks um, to balance the budget. I think it's you're good at it though. I wanted to say like the, I felt like someone was, oh my God, I'm looking at the world card on the TV. What is this? Grateful Dead Ripple. All right, well, that song is for somebody to listen to. I've never seen this before in my life. It's a pretty trippy video. Don't even tell me this is supposed to be the tarot cards. Okay, as I was saying, like, someone building something, and I started to think, like, if I'm watching... The world is number 20, right? No, I think that's judgment. The world is 21. Because 20 is here. Oh my God, the high, this is, because now I'm looking at the devil card. This is too bloody ironic that this is happening right now. So I'm connecting it. I'm gonna connect it, Aquarius. First of all, I'm really in touch with someone who is another tarot reader, 
who is an Aquarius or has that in their chart, someone who would have said to me, love and light, who reads cards, who knows the cards, but this is also, um, someone really needs to go listen to Ripple by the Grateful Dead because there has to be a message in there for somebody, but I feel like I can't get the words out. I'm thinking about the fool going through the whole journey. And if I'm being shown the fool going on this journey and now it's showing him going through the deck, because I'm looking at the King and Queen of Cups, all the Page of Cups, Three of Cups. This is actually pretty freaking cool. Aquarius, you need to check this shit out. <laughs> Maybe I'll somehow <laughs> put the link to this in the um, comments. It made me think of like watching sticks being put together to build something. So connecting it with this what I'm seeing in front of me, like watching someone is building so towards something and this is their journey in life, the path that they are meant to go on. This makes me think that where you're at right now, Aquarius, on your path, this is very much important for somebody to hear. Where you are at right now on your path, whether you are completely distracted, completely distraught, you life is going forward that you haven't done anything wrong there have been no bad decisions here yeah judgment is 20. the right decisions have been made i feel like there's an aquarius here who needs to make who needs to understand like the bigger picture and the things going on behind the scenes and the universe and whatever that whether you believe in it or not, this is just what's come to my head. Like, this is just the way things are supposed to be. Like, um, even the, though I got the freaking Grateful Dead on in front of me, I got now Journey, um, The Wheel in the Sky Keeps on Churning. Because that song always made me think of the um, Wheel, of Fort Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, and that's what I'm watching here. So someone could like that journey song or that could mean something. I feel like someone may be worried that what they are building and working towards isn't getting anywhere. It's like a house of cards, but it's not. It's going somewhere whether you can see it or not because the bigger picture is you're going through this path in life and on in your life and... um. Wow, that was such a weird message. You're on the way there. You are building towards it. It's just not here yet. This could even be so much like you're building towards it, but it's not here yet. Um, not even in the physical sense. It could be things that you are doing, the energy that you are putting out, the decisions that you are making on this journey are all the one, like the right changes that are meant to happen for you and to you, okay? This is the person who... Um, is not only saying yes to the right things, this person has learned how to say no to the things that they know that aren't good for them. And that in itself has put you more closer towards where you wanna be. I'm, Im <laughs> this is kind of bizarre. I'm imagining kind of like a ping pong, not a ping pong, a pinball machine where like you're the ball and you're trying to get, your pathway goes this way and you're trying to get to the end, which is your 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, happily ever after. And when you go too far to the left, deviating off course, you have to do something that balances out and gets you back on course and some of the things are making the right decision and that actually really keeps you back on course or it's saying no to things that you shouldn't be doing and that keeps you back on course too. 
So it's like a yin and a yang of things that you are doing that are, um, it's like a seesaw leveling out because it's such an equal pressure on each other side that it's like forcing it to just go straight. That was a weird ass image. Please let me know if it resonates. The Hermit, you could be dealing with the Virgo. I feel like someone's looking kind of shabby, kind of um, like your hair's a little raggedy and um, or if you're a man, like you're really um, your beard's kind of gone. The moon, that's, I'm telling you, there is a serious witch who watches this because now all I can see is a witch doing some moon work looking into it or someone here is like I'm even here in warlock so like the male version Oh my gosh, yes. This is like male energy who's like manifesting, using like manifestation work. Someone here might work, do some work by the moon cycles, like know how to do work by the moon cycles, has learned and seen things, been proven by working by the moon cycles. And it's like, um, poof, high priestess reverse back here, but people don't know this side about you or like don't know this about you. This is, that's a top secret that I just revealed to somebody out there. The star, five of pentacles. Here you are, Aquarius, as I just said, people, some people didn't know that about you, but I just gave it away and you're naked as the day you were born. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Someone is working so flipping hard towards happily ever after. Someone needs to smell the roses though. I'm thinking like if you are constantly pouring into a savings and only get pinching pennies for yourself, like constantly in this state of working and needing to work and I need to create because I need to work because I have to take all that money and pour it into my savings and live on, on pennies over here so I can save up for this. You gotta make sure you're not like living in the fast lane, my man, and not enjoying where you are because the 10 of pentacles is here twice. So that to me, it means it exists, but the fact that it's in reverse, and each of these women, these figures, are so concentrated on something else, pouring into something, could be themselves, but to me right there, that looked like a savings. Pouring into that savings, pouring into that savings. Like, you need to smell and enjoy life right now. I'm hearing, like, someone is choosing to, like, home, like live like a pauper. Going to... Um, like uh, consignment shops, which that shit is fun when you're, if you're like bargain hunting, but like going to consignment shops, like Savers, Salve Salvation Army, um, maybe even like a, like church charities, um, to save money, save money, save money, save money. Maybe someone here grew up, did not grow up with money. It's like, this is someone who's like, I will cut my own hair and I'm gonna let my beard grow out because why am I gonna spend the money on that? I don't need to. Hey, hey baby. Ace of Pentacles.
Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, the World card, which started it all. The world is watching. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm looking at, I feel like I'm looking at someone who's not enjoying the present, who's not living in the present. That's the nine of cups. That's a step before this with the 10 of swords. You don't want to go to the 10 of swords from the nine of cups. You want to go to the 10 of cups from the nine of cups. That ten of swords does not look fun, does it to you? Someone is keeping themselves stuck heading towards or in the ten of swords instead of the ten of cups. And I have a, it's a funny feeling it's financial. Because of worried about finances and not worrying like not enjoying where they're at right now or what's going on right now like the full reversed i had said like i feel like someone is watching their house of cards crumble or like something depleting Six of Wands, the Hierophant, Eight of Cups, I mean, Queen of Cups reverse, the Death, Scorpio energy, and that Taurus. I feel like this is someone who's worried about and is watching something be depleted. Maybe you've been having to put money into something or, or, uh, I don't know why, and I just realized I thought of the Aquarius reading last time, like it's a black hole. I don't know why I was just gonna say, like I feel like you, they're giving to something, you keep giving to something, and it's like not being fulfilled. I heard like taking on like an obligation that you care a lot about, but I don't think it's getting anywhere yet. And I don't think people un know that it's not, you're not rolling in dough or has something, Emperor. This could be a business. Like you began a business and like you're watching it not go anywhere or maybe it started to build towards something and then it's, kind of going backwards queen of cups again this is something that someone really cares a lot about i get like this protective energy over this could be uh an investment people uh Even if it's like money, like savings, it's like feeling like you are, this is money that you need to be making and saving because um, it needs to be able to be there for your family or so you can provide eight of cups reverse. 
I, why did I want to say? Because someone feels like they may end up leaving or someone may end up leaving, just leaving the ho home. Holy shit. I feel like someone is like waiting for a phone call that they don't want to give because they know they're about to hurt someone or this is like anxiously scared that you might get a phone call um that will hurt you or like the fact that the eight of cups is reversed here it's like and the ten of cups reverse I feel like this is almost like splitting up people who don't want to leave so maybe you'd have to go do something like I'm hearing like being called into like then the like being activated in the guards or really hoping that doesn't happen King of Swords, reverse. Four Pentacles. There's something here of not wanting to have to lose something or someone. This could literally be money. It could be... Um, I also think there's something here of legal nature like you want you don't want to have to pay for something or like give something up like um Aquarius you're right there uh, in reverse I feel like this is the you're like someone's nervous about something ending going somewhere I feel like there's a sense of like there's no control I hope this isn't some bullshit of like being in a third party situation where it's like you've either allowed yourself to be juggled or you anticipate the day that this has to be confronted because now I'm starting to see someone who's like oh gosh I have a song in my head basically that's like the cause and cure is you. I think that's an old SLW song. When the cause and cure is you, I get so weak in the knees. Two of swords, two of pentacles, the fool. I feel like someone is like waiting, like scared that they're gonna be alone, that like someone is gonna leave them, that um, I get the feeling too there's an Aquarius who's had their heart broken like really hurt and broken before and that now that it's healed they're like really trying to protect it and no longer let it ever be wounded like that again six of wands reverse king of pentacles
chariot, the chariot. Oh, we're definitely towards the end of the reading because the Ten of Pentacles has come out again and that's where we started it. And they're both in reverse, the chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone really is really scared about losing what they've built so far. This could be uh, some sort of business travel that has you or a business that has you traveling. Knight of Swords, the moon reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Four of... I feel like someone is like waiting for something to be taken from them or someone to be taken from them. I think this also could be some sort of opportunity. Like afraid that um, this thing that they've been working for, for and what they want is going to be taken from them. I'll take that beep as some sort of confirmation. There's someone fighting it though and they're not laying down and being um, quiet about it. Like they're fighting it. I feel like someone is fighting to get things back in order again. Whatever that order was in life, like there was a way things were going and then all of a sudden it seemed like th they were having money siphoned from them or like kind of like the bottom was falling out from them, Aquarius. And... um I feel like there's a uh, uh, fighting to get back on track. Not wanting this to happen and willing to fight to avoid it. That might be the title. Yeah. Like not like you something about um not wanting to let what you've worked on and what you've done already just go like not sitting back and letting something happen you're someone's fighting for what they've already built up what they've already established, what they've already saved. Someone is not going to let a wrecking ball come in and ruin what they've already established without going down, like, without a fight. Aquarius, if this um, resonates, please let me know in the comments. Um, if it doesn't, check out the other signs in your chart. I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you next time.